Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again your currency. So if you remember in the weekend we have concern about overall shape of the pattern and uh, one of the suggestions that we discussed was about the possible performance on the right wing of this pattern. In particular speaking we said whether this market will go higher or we still could get the downside pullback for position taken. And we said that since we are conservative we will prefer to wait some pullback retracement uh, that could save some money and let us to take the position with the less risk. Currently, every currency is very sensitive to the data releases because all investors right now are watching on October meeting and what numbers we will get it uh, will make direct impact on the European Central Bank decision. Recently, we've got really poor PMI numbers. So we have uh, put them in the Telegram channel as well. And you can see it was all falling all um, major countries in Germany, France, uh, so the gen the average number on the European Union and that of course stands in favor of the rate cut. This is the example and actually reason why the euro currency has shown this downward action. Uh, from the technical point of view uh, we still have the bullish context here and we treat this, this action just as a retracement because our major invalidation points as this grubber as this major point still stands intact. So that uh, led us to keep the short and bullish context valid. So and, and anticipate and watching for watch for uh, our prediction and completion of this XOP, this ABCD pattern, right, and the completion of the target of the butterfly. What this is what we have on the daily chart. Additionally, actually, currently the some demand for United States dollar also exists just because of the rising tensions in the Middle East and investors a bit nervous uh, that doesn't let euro to act and uh, actually full capacity so the upward action is a bit uh, limited with this additional demand in the United States dollars and it's, uh, hold the possible upward action on euro still if we will take a look at this uh, today's candle you could, we could suggest that it might be grubber here to be formed today uh, this session is not closed that's why we do not know whether we will get it or not but if you will take a look at the futures, particularly speaking on the December futures in the euro currency, you can see that chance for this exists. So if market will close above this area above the MA City line, we will get the grubber. And that will suggest taking out of this top, uh, which correspondingly should support the overall performance with our daily uh, time frame trading plan. This grubber, as you can see, also stands intact. So potentially bullish context remains. On low time frame, in particular speaking on the fall time frame chart, this is what we have. It's collapsed on the PMIs. And currently, you can see market shows the recovery. In general, you could see that market is forming nicely looking triangle consolidation, which uh, led us to fall into two things. First of all, if you're still considering taking a long position, you could try to do this as, as close to the bottom of the triangle as possible. That just minimizes your risk. And let us to keep an eye on uh, our invalidation point here, this grubber on the full tech from chart. If you're training larger pattern, such as a butterfly, the invalidation point will be right here to you. Uh, speaking about very small term, um, time frame, so if this indeed will be a bullish pattern formed recently, uh, yet, uh, later in the session, here's also might be different butterfly that's already considered on the hourly chart here is how it look like so this is the collapse that we talked about we said be aware of this actually performance that we have some uncertainty exists about this if we will get collapsed and we'll take the position and uh, you could see that uh, here's drop shape of the butterfly has changed but the target remains the same so it's still around 112 20 area approximately and here's our prediction stance. What options exist currently with the dealing of this situation? 
So if you're conservative, you could first wait when the grabber will be formed or not in today's session. Second conservative issue, or actually the, the strategy that you could you could follow is say, cool, here market is forming, obviously, a kind of the guardless triple to sell. You could wait when this guardless triple to sell starts working, market will return right back down close to the lows of this area, starting with retracement. Uh, more conservative approach here, theoretically, we, we do not know whether the market really will continue our prediction, so here's also butterfly might be formed. So that's also a passion that you could think about, although it uh, brings some problems to the butterfly in general, and what is more important to the major triangle, right? So we do not want to see that price will drop below the lows, breaking the triangle down. And if butterfly will start forming, obviously this will happen. <clears throat> so this is not very good for the bullish context. Um, that's actually uh, things that uh, we could try to get for additional insurance before a position taken uh, and keep watching for today's session and to make the decision on this tomorrow. Um, if you in general would like to take the long position on your currency, I do not want to be too conservative in the current situation. Theoretically, you could try to take the minor position here, say the quarter or the one third of your trading line and see what will happen. Um, because potentially it also might happen that market just could keep going higher. This is also possible. <clears throat> if uh, alternatively in, in, in your sessions and tomorrow, maybe uh, one two sessions, we will get the downside breakout this triangle then the context probably will change and um, that could really put the shadow on the perspective of this pattern as well because grabber will be erased market will not be able to proceed higher start dropping in this case we could get to return back to the major support area around 109 50 109 30 area right there so it might be some kind of the larger a b c top d pattern right right here uh, but currently it's too early to speak about this because both invalidation points as a grabber and this butterfly are still valid. So that's why we can't talk about the bearish position in this moment. We need uh, more clarity on this subject. 